Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about simile and metaphor. As these both terms are new for you, so before starting, I would give you an idea of simile and metaphor by showing some examples. And the very first example is just on screen right now. As you can see that there is a picture of a fat man and a skinny person. So the fat man is saying to the skinny one that you are as skinny as a rail. And the skinny person is saying and you are a mountain. So do you also say such things to someone sometimes? Well, actually we all say at times because these are figure of speech. So let's see this example. This pizza is as cold as ice. So pizza is actually not just like ice but because ice is cold and if the pizza is also cold we just state it we just compare it that okay both are cold so it is as cold as ice and the same way we can say as slow as a snail for a person who is very slow or who does his or her work slowly second as easy as abc so we can use this figure of speech for something that is very easy like the sum was as easy as abc and now the next as sharp as a razor so you can use it for a person who speaks bluntly so you can say that oh your tongue is as sharp as a razor now let's see a few more examples now you can see this picture where a fat man is sitting on a couch couch means sofa and to such person we can call a couch potato but is it possible to call a person couch potato because it is another figure of speech we can call such a person a couch potato who just keeps sitting on a sofa and keeps eating at the same time now another one she is the apple of my eyes now how is it possible that one can be apple of someone's eyes well the meaning of this figure of speech is that someone is very dear to you so these were the examples of simile and metaphor now we will understand that actually what is the difference between simile and metaphor so first of all simile means a comparison of two different things using the words like or as so in easy sense you have to remember that you have two things which are different from each other but we compare those two things by using the words like or as so let's see this example on her first day of school jane was as cool as a cucumber now this is a phrase of phrase or a figure of speech as cool as cucumber so that means a person who is very cool calm and peaceful who is very confident so you can say that jane was as cool as a cucumber so we are comparing two different things but the quality would be same that both are cool now what is metaphor here metaphor is again a comparison of two different things that does not use the words like or as so when we talk about simile we compare two different things but we use like and as but when we talk about metaphor we again have two different things but we do not use the words like and as so simply we just state the name of that person for the first one example noah has a heart of line so how a girl actually can have a heart of line so you can just compare that because line is considered to be very brave and dangerous animal so if you would call someone that you have heart of a line so that means that person is very brave so let's try to understand 
these both terms with examples and first we will do simile. So once again a comparison using the word like, like and as usually describe something. So as the first example as pretty as a rose. So who is actually pretty? Pretty word is used for girls or for baby and rose. Rose is a flower that is considered to be very beautiful. So you can call a beautiful girl that you are as beautiful as rose. So here this figure of speech describes where we are using the word as that the beauty of someone is just like beauty of rose. Now another example to eat like a bird. What does it describe here? It describes that how someone or something eats very little. As we all know that birds are very small in size and they eat very little. So that is why when you would use this figure of speech for someone, suppose you would say she eats like a bird. So that means this girl about whom we are saying she eats very little. So let's see now examples of simile in this poem. So we have three stanzas here. Let me read it. My brother's such a noisy kid. When he eats soup, he slurps. When he drinks milk, he gargles. And after meals, he burps. He cracks his knuckles when he is bored. He whistles when he walks. He snaps his fingers when he sings. And when he is mad, he swags. At night, my brother snows so loud. It sounds just like a riot. Even when he sleeps, my noisy brother isn't quiet. So did you find any line where as or like words have been used and any comparison is there? So yes, if you would see stanza third, there you have this line. It sounds like a riot. And what does sound like a riot? At night, my brother snores so loud. So, brothers snore sound just like a right. And what is the meaning of right? Right means when many people, they start killing or ill-treating other people because of a particular reason. So, they kind of kill them and they shout and they create nuisance. And that sound is very Horrible. So let's see now another example. I'm as quick as a cheetah. My eyes are as blue as the ocean. My ears can hear like a rabbit. My brain is as smart as a scientist. My nose can smell like a bear. My heart is as big as an elephant. So now there are so many similes here. In fact, in each line we have simile here where I, first of all, in first line, I have been compared with a cheetah. Okay, my eyes are compared with the ocean. My ears are compared with a rabbit. My brain is compared with a scientist. Nose is compared with a bear. And heart is compared with an elephant. So these all are examples of similes because as and like words are used here. Now, we will move forward and we will do metaphors. So, a comparison between two different things again, okay, by using one name for the another is metaphor. So, we'll just read these two definitions first. A metaphor is a figure of speech that compares two things by saying one thing is the other thing or a comparison in which one thing is said to be another. So let's see this example. She is a walking dictionary. So we are talking about a girl and we are calling her that she is a walking dictionary. Dictionary is a book in which you can find words of, of a certain language. So if you would call a person a walking dictionary, that means that person is very knowledgeable. So this is another figure of speech. 
So now the what is the difference that you are comparing two different things without using the words like and as. Let's see few more examples. My life is a movie. So life is being compared to movie using the word is. It is a movie. Next, they are clowns in the math class. So they are being compared to clowns using the word are. Let's see more examples. The sun was a gleaming pearl. So we are comparing the sun with pearl and how is the pearl gleaming shining because sun is also shining all the time next example my baby brother is a cute little teddy bear so kids are cute and they are chubby so that is why you can call a little baby a teddy bear because Teddy bears are also cute and baby are also cute. Next example, my sister's memory is a camera that remembers everything we see. And now here, my sister's memory has been compared with camera. So that means the sister has a photographic memory. One who has a photographic memory can remember the visuals, the scenes as it is. So comparison, comparison is there because we are calling sister's memory a camera. And now next example, the car seat is a fluffy cloud. So quality of cloud is fluffy. Okay, and the car seat has been compared with it because the car seat is also floppy. Now we will see the example of metaphor in poems so the first example is a smile is a rubber band it is rubber on my face someone stole my mouth and left a rubber band in its place so in the very first line we have metaphor a smile is a rubber band so smile has been compared with a rubber band we are simply saying it we are simply stating it that's what is smile smile is a rubber band so we just found the metaphor here. Now we will see in another line. The night is a big black cat. So in the title only what are we saying to night? We are just saying night is big black cat. So these are two different things. Night and black cat. So night is actually dark. So that is why these two different things have been compared. So let's read the stanza the night is a big black cat the moon is her topaz eyes moon has been now compared with her topaz eyes the stars are the mice she hunts at night and stars are mice in the field of the sultry sky so what are the metaphors here the big black cat topaz eyes and mice which have been compared with the former things which are given here so i hope that this concept is now clear to you so let's sum up it now so what is simile simile means comparison between two different things and we compare those two different things by using the words like and as whereas Metaphor are simply those words where we compare two different things without using the words like and as. So let's try to sum up this with these cartoon characters. Close. So this is just a name. That's a simile because it uses like. So one person is saying that it's a simile because it uses like so if i don't use like or as it is a metaphor exactly so what is the meaning when you will compare two different things and you will use like and as that would be simile and when you will compare two different things but without using the words like and as that would be metaphor so i hope this is clear to you 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिसनिंग कीप स्टारिंग